What's up YouTube? I'm back again today. I've got another uh, little product unboxing and then uh, we'll do kind of a review, some first thoughts and, and just kind of see see how this thing works out. I've been on the, on the search for the perfect headlamp for quite some time. I just can't ever find one that just, just I, I just like it. I just can't find one to like it. I like one with a good like spotlight type beam but um but also decent walking light um, I've been searching for that for, for quite some time and I, I made a little I guess you could say a impulse buy off of Amazon the other day this is a, it's a Superfire HL25 um, headlamp it's um, I don't know it looks like it's got a nice spot but it's also got some little floodlights on the side it's rechargeable so hopefully that uh you know saves on batteries i just got to remember to recharge the dang thing i always tend to you know have a rechargeable higher quality light but then i always carry some spares that use like triple a batteries and keep a few triple a batteries on me somewhere so that you know if i forget to charge that light i can uh i've still got something to fall back on so this can this lights the HL25. Um, I don't know. There's a bunch of different stats here. You can read them and uh, take take out of it what you will. Runtime is supposed to be four hours, um, 170 grams. I mean, I, I don't care about any of that. Um, I don't know. Anyways, let's just uh, get right in here and open this dude up and see see what it looks like. Right off the bat, got a charger. Looks like a USB-C. Let's set that aside. Um, that's actually the light itself. And we've got some instructions. Now you can actually focus this light by, I believe, turning that dial. We'll check that out whenever we get to it. But there's that. Let's um, pull out the package here. You know, I had a headlamp that um, is really bright, but it had the light pack on the back, and uh, and it had a cable that ran over the top, and it was really loud, and I just I just didn't like it. Um, I ain't gonna lie, the the thing's a lot bigger than I thought it was. I don't know if you can tell there, but it's um it's a pretty big chunk in my hand. I was thinking for some reason it was gonna be smaller than that. Okay, so you focus it by grabbing this part here, and then you can I believe that's how you're going to do it. We're going to have to turn it on and see. But, um, let's see, I don't know what that button on the left, just turn it on. And the button on the right, there's a strobe. There we go. So you push the power button to cycle through different modes. There's your Kind of flood light and then you can turn both of them on or you turn it off so there's the you know the primary light and i don't know if you can see it on the table there that's not really focusing it hmm. okay yeah it is so so it is like oh, if you can see that there i'm just twisting that Focus and you see how that beam gets tighter and tighter and tighter. I really like that. You know, so you can focus that thing down and look at something. You know, off out in the woods as you're kid. Oops. Well. Huh. Wasn't expecting that. You don't twist it too far. Hmm. Well, let's see if I can get it back put back together here. All right, so I got the thing back up and running. Uh, one tip, if you do buy this thing... Do not twist this outer collar, because if you do, it will come off, and the whole thing will fall apart. Um, to focus it, you only want to twist this big, wide band here. All right? Um, I will note, this thing didn't cost a lot. I don't remember exactly how much, but I think it was around $10. I'll, um, 
I'll put some text over video here to whatever uh, recall exactly how much. But anyways, I did, as I was clicking through this, realize there's a couple different modes. So here's your first, your um, default mode. It's kind of a light spot, and then it gets a little bit brighter. Okay, and then even brighter. So this right here is your brightest spot setting, and you can focus that just by turning the wide band part. And uh, it focuses down pretty well. Um, and then you've got a strobe, okay? And then you've got your your walking floodlight, and you've got a combination, and that's it. Um, other than it falling apart, um, being bigger than I was expecting, it doesn't seem too bad. And I've got a bunch of fingerprints all in the lens, and got my fingers all on it. I've got some sort of greasy stuff on my hands. Hopefully that don't decrease the life of the thing, but anyways it's got a decent strap here you can stick it on your head and i mean it's a little heavy forward heavy it's kind of floppy and flopping around um i don't know i can't decide i just i can't decide if i like it or not right now um only time's gonna tell but and we'll get back out here after dark and we'll shine this thing around the yard a little bit and just see uh, see how it does. So, y'all stick around and when it gets darker in a minute, we'll come out here and see how bright this thing really is. Alright guys, it's kind of dusky and dark out here and um, I'm going to walk out and just kind of see what this light looks like. I wanted to start out on the, the walking mode and I mean, it's a pretty dim light, but you can tell I can see the ground pretty good. He'll look away and look back. It's not, I mean, it, he can probably see decently for, I don't know, a good five yards. But what I'm really interested in, and one of the main reasons I got this camera was for the spot mode. So let's toggle through those real quick. Here's the first mode. It does pretty well. Here's the, the next brighter level. And then finally the brightest. I mean, that right there is lighting the world up. There's a deer right there. Let's see if we can... I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but there's a deer right there. But I've tightened that uh, spot down. Um, you can see pretty good. Now I can look up in that tree right there. I don't know how much the camera's picking it up. But, um, it, uh, it's not too bad. I don't know how well it's going to hold up, but, um, as far as the, the light brightness, um, I kind of like it. So, I don't know, um, it might be worth a shot, uh, you know, just keep in mind it's not the most high quality, but. Seems like it's pretty bright. I'll uh, link down below to this light so y'all can go check that out. Um, and if you don't mind, please hit that like and that subscribe button. The subscribing is what helps me out more than anything right now. And I'd really, really appreciate it if you could do that for me. Um, and hopefully you like this kind of video. If you do, leave a comment. If there's some other type of stuff you'd like me to take a look at, uh, let me know. I mean, I like doing this kind of stuff. It's getting closer to deer season. I'm doing a lot of deer season prep. And pretty pumped up. Can't wait. I've got some pretty good deer on camera. And hopefully I'll be able to bring some of that to y'all this year. So if you don't want to miss out on anything, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But anyway, guys, that's it for this one. I appreciate you checking it out. I hope y'all have a great day. Thanks.